everybody, it is Rachel here. Um, just coming at you today with a little bit of an update. Um, let's see, I don't think, I haven't updated since my vlog on the road Saturday, um, but I did an apple day. Um, woke up Sunday morning yesterday and had, was down 2.2. Um, did things just normal yesterday, ate like P3 style foods, did a little workout and everything. Well, woke up this morning, I had gained every bit of that 2.2 back. So, that puts me at, I believe I was 159.6 today, which is a scary number because I don't like being that close to 160. Um, and I'm, I'm just not happy about it. I don't know what the deal is. So, I've been doing some research, Googling, of course, and uh, I found some things out and um, I thought that I would share this with you guys because I'm sure that there are people on P3 or P4 lifetime maintenance who are maybe struggling with this like I am because, you know, I seem to be doing everything right. I'm eating healthy, I'm working out, um, but I'm still gaining weight. So, here are the solutions that I found, or possible solutions that I found. Number one, eating too many calories. Um, this I don't think is the problem for me, um, but of course, as if you guys don't know, um, if you take in more calories than your body burns, then you will gain weight, obviously. Um, like I said, I don't think that's my problem because I count my calories every day using my calorie count application, um, so that's not it for me. Uh, number two is that more likely the... Uh, the solution, not having enough calories. Um, this says it may seem counterintuitive, but eating too little can actually stall your efforts to lose fat. As Kathy Lehman, a registered dietitian and creator of NutriFit says, if there is a severe restriction in calories, the body may counteract this reduction by slowing down its metabolism. So to be sure that you're eating enough calories to sustain your body if you're increasing your activity. And I think that's my problem because um, with the calorie count, Dot com it has um, a thing where you can calculate how many calories you need to aim for every day and I put in that I wanted to lose um, 10 pounds by like the end of February or something like that and so it said that I needed to have to in order to do that I needed to take in 1,250 calories a day I had to, you know I don't know what reason that it didn't register in my mind that that was a ridiculously low amount of calories but I was telling this to my mom and she's like Rachel no wonder you're gaining weight you don't have enough calories and I was like oh well yeah you're right because and then I remembered reading somewhere um, that no matter what you're never supposed to decrease your calories to below 1200 and I'm like well shoot I'm just right on top of that you know plus I'm exercising so I'm probably only netting like 1100 or 1150 calories a day so that's probably the culprit um, the third one that this says is not giving your body enough time to respond um, and this said basically says you know just because you um, start exercising doesn't mean your body always responds immediately um, this woman says in some instances the body needs to sort of recalibrate itself Increased activity and new eating habits um, require the body to make adjustments. Um, and this says actually to give yourself several weeks or months for your body to respond to what you're doing. And I think that that may be part of the case too for me because um, I mentioned to you guys before that I haven't done really any working out. Is this thing focused? Sorry. <laughs> I haven't really done any working out um, in probably a year and a half or two years like really working out when I when I worked out before I was just doing mainly cardio which isn't bad but it's not like you know I've added in strength training and working out the muscles and stuff so I probably need to give myself a little time for that too um what else oh number four rule out any medical condition that really doesn't have any effect for me because this is talking about thyroid problems and all that which I don't have that so um and then the fifth reason is another thing that I was thinking of um because it this it says that if you feel like you're getting bigger um, after you've started, like, you know, weight training or strength training, um, it could be that you're gaining muscle faster than you're losing fat. And something that I've noticed is I feel like I'm getting bigger. Now, my, my clothes still fit fine, um, but, like, I measured myself the other day because, you know, a lot of people have been like, oh, if you're taking your measurements, you're probably losing inches if you're not losing weight. 
And um, some of my measurements have actually gone up. I think my legs have stayed the same. Pretty sure my arms are the same. Um, just mostly where it is is like in my um, like abdominal region. Um, I noticed that like the area right right here under the chest and the waist and the the hips. Um, I've all I've gone up like an inch on all of them. I think so. I don't really know why. Um, unless I just don't had didn't have any muscle there before, and um, I'm trying to get muscle now. Um, but I think that that probably has a lot to do with it because I haven't worked out like that in such a long time. And um, Kathy, um, tasting thin. Actually, we I I posted about it on Facebook this morning that I gained all that weight back, and she was like, "Oh, well, what are your stats? Your height, your weight, and your age?" And I told her, "You know, I'm 24." I'm 5'8", and my weight this morning was 159.6. And so she said that my BMR is uh, 1550. So if I laid on the couch all day and did nothing, I would need that many calories just to maintain my weight. So, you know, if you are sedentary, that's, that's really kind of what you're aiming for. If you do light activity, it was like 2,000, I think. And so, I mean, that's like a... 750 calorie difference that I'm not getting so obviously I'm just not doing it right so I thought that you know if I got on here and I kind of talked it out with myself and with you guys that maybe um, you know somebody else can get something from this because I know like this has been the hardest thing for me is just trying to figure this out like how to do it so um, I guess maybe I should aim for like 1700 calories per day I don't know it's just it seems so hard to get used to all this but I'm gonna try that and see if that helps um because I really don't want the scale to go up anymore um another reason why I think that I didn't or that I gained back as much as I did is because um and this is a little bit TMI um I didn't have a BM this morning and I usually have one every morning and I did it, so I think that that might have been a factor in why the weight was up so high. But it's just discouraging. Like, that's never happened to me before where I lost that much and then gained it all back the next day from a correction day. That has never happened to me before. Um, it's happened before where I've, like, lost a lot and then maybe gained, like, a pound back. Like, the last time I did an apple day, I think I lost three and a half pounds. And then the day after that, I, like, gained a pound back, which... I mean, that's not really a big deal, but this is like, I lost 2.2 pounds, and then today I gained 2.2 pounds. So it's like, well, what's the point of that? So, I'm trying anyway, but um, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hope everybody's doing awesome. Um, I'm going to try to get this uploaded in a much quicker manner today. Um, thinking about doing a, maybe a cooking vlog, because I'm out of almond cookies, and I want to make some. Um, but we'll see. Uh, anyway, that's that's all I've got, guys. P tours. I hope you guys are doing awesome, continuing to do well. I'm. I love to watch you guys, and uh, hope everyone has a wonderful day. Remember, stay focused, positive, and don't cheat. I love you guys very much. Have a good day. Bye.